That was truly bizarre. Ah, uh, well, wasn't nothing to be done about it. He just... I spawned right on top of the tentacle thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is an area of the game where you actually want lag, because for whatever reason these rocks are completely indestructible. No idea why Konami decided to make them that way, but... Well, they did. I think I'll be going this way. They do seem to shatter upon hitting very soft dirt. Maybe if I shot dirt at them, they'd break. Good old buddy Tetran. I'd say this is probably my favorite stage. Some people think I'm crazy. And I'm pretty sure there's papers out there somewhere proving that fact. But I still like this stage. Press the old thumb for a second. Okay, second's over.
Ooh, one second, just got to shake out the old thumb here. Okay, shaking out done. Here comes the fun part. And I mean that literally. Like genuinely, I do like this part. It's a good challenge without being like insane. If you really want to challenge yourself playing this, try and pick up, like, as many of those power-ups as you possibly can. Or do it with an extremely high number of speed power-ups. I'm not going to even attempt that on stream. I'm going to try to refrain from doing any of my spastic jumping around in this section because that usually gets me killed. I have an unfortunate tendency to run into those barriers when I do that. Now for the flying, splitting, mutant metal space shrimp section. Because of course you have to have a flying metal mutant space shrimp section. It's just silly to do otherwise. Just stay at the bottom and you're pretty safe. If you get hit there, you pretty much deserve to get hit. Some of these rocks are destructible, some are not. I have no idea why. It would make more sense to make them all destructible because, well, I'm shooting powerful lasers that decimate much more powerful things I, or something. I can't talk right now. I'm just not very good at it right now. Talking while playing any Gradius game is pretty hard.
Here we go to the... Never mind. Uh, here we go, the falling stalactites. That's how you kill an enemy spaceship with stalactites. Hell, that's what I'd do. Those aren't anywhere near as threatening as they look. Space Egypt, because why not?
Uh oh. I thought I had enough power ups to get another shield. Ah, it doesn't really matter. These Mawai heads aren't near as dangerous as they look. They got nothing on the ones from Gradius 1. Those guys do, though. This is going to be interesting. I really didn't see that one coming. Oh, God. Stop following me, my Y heads. <laughs> Man, these guys are freaking hogging the whole screen. I've never actually been in this situation before. I didn't even know they could do this. I mean, I knew they could hop around, but I didn't know they'd follow you through the whole dang level. Ugh, can't even scratch my nose. I guess I could hang out at the bottom. That's actually way easier. I guess it's not going to let me go through until I... Damn it! Until I kill these guys. Shit! Okay, let's just pretend none of that happened. I don't know if I can actually beat the end boss with a regular gun or not. Let's find out together. Turbo button is my friend. I have no shame. Woo! Okay, the next part is nothing. Anybody that loses eight lives in the escape sequence is an idiot. Well, that was interesting. I actually learned what to do when the... Mawai heads with just your regular pea shooter. And that is die many times.
Well, I'm pretty tired now. I want to thank everybody that may be watching. <laughs> Next time I'd like to see you in chat. Alright, y'all have a good night.